it's important to understand, as you all do, how agriculture builds our economy. And that's the first thing I want to talk about. And then secondly, how it amplifies our values. Celia Gould, director of the Idaho Department of Agriculture, was one of many guest speakers at the annual Idaho Farm Bureau Legislative Conference this week in Boise. She reminded farmers in attendance how important their industry is to the state's economy. First of all, agriculture generates more sales in Idaho than any other industry. In fact, Idaho makes up, or ag makes up 20% of all sales in Idaho. Ag accounts for at least 14% of the jobs in the state, and it makes up 16% of our gross domestic product. Farmers enter the new year expecting commodity prices nationwide to be low across the board. But according to University of Idaho ag economist Garth Taylor, Idaho agriculture is better off than most other farming states. The Wall Street Journal headline of uh, this last week was uh, farm income is down in the national farm income down is the greatest decline since the Great Depression. This is a concern nationally and it's going to be a concern for Farm Bureau nationally. I mean, you know, uh, you know the, the big farm states are very much concerned about that. Their state budgets are in disaster with the, farm, the declines in farm income. And, but Idaho's on a different track. We are on a, even though it's declining, it could have been worse this last year in 2016. And, and when you look at it 2017, you know, dairy prices are okay. And you have to realize that well over a third of farm cash receipts in the state of Idaho are from dairy. That's the 900 pound gorilla that puts us on a different track for agriculture in the state of Idaho. Speaker of the House Scott Bedke and Senate Pro Tem Brent Hill were also guest speakers. The Pro Tem thanked the crowd for help in passing HJR 5 last November. The amendment provides legislative review of administrative rules to ensure they are consistent with legislative intent. I want to thank you all for your help with uh, getting HJR 5 passed uh, in November. I, you know, it was not that close, but it was fairly close. There was a lot of misinformation going out about it. And I know probably some in this room didn't support it, but the Farm Bureau as a whole did. I'm not sure we could have got it through without Farm Bureau's help. Speaker Bedke updated the crowd on what lawmakers would like to do with a state budget surplus of about $140 million. So we're, we're doing well as a state. You will see us uh, taking that you know we'll be prudent with that money as uh, we were taught back at the ranch and uh and, and investing that in this in the state's infrastructure uh, in a in a major way in two in two places number one in uh, in the education system many of my constituents are pulling me aside and saying hey you know that tax cut would be nice but maybe you ought to put that into the road system and i think that we're going to see an unprecedented breakup this <coughs> Uh, I think is is having an effect on the on the, on the collective mentality at the at the state house to maybe shift some of our priorities to uh, to investing in the infrastructure, the road infrastructure here. Maxine Bell, veteran co-chair of the Joint Finance and Appropriations Committee, warned against using the S word when it comes to setting budgets. Worst are the best of times. Please don't use the S word. It's not a surplus. It's not a surplus. And, and it, if, it, if I do have a little extra money, it's one time. You can't plug it in. And you have to remember that. Lawmakers spent the evening at a strolling buffet with Farm Bureau members from their home districts. Grassroots politics at its best. With the Idaho Farm Bureau, the voice of Idaho agriculture, I'm Steve Ritter.